there were, by the usual count, about 2,000 cities in the Roman Empire. Hundreds of these are still inhabited today, especially in countries that speak Romance languages. Their modern names often reflect their Roman roots. Roman Elisipo is modern Lisboa. Toletum is Toledo. Missilia is Marseille. Bononia is Bologna. And Roma, of course, is still Roma. The names of many other Roman cities, however, have changed radically. In Sardinia, for example, Forum Traiani became Fordungianus. In Slovenia, Poetovio became Ptoi. In Algeria, Igilgili became Didel. Arausio, in France, became Arausion, Arasik, Orengi, Orenga, and finally Orange. Borbeto Magus, in Germany, became Vormatia, Vormatia, and then Worms. Identical names sometimes evolved in different directions. Both Nice, France, and Iznik, Turkey, were originally named Nicaea. Frejus, France, and Friuli, Italy, are variations of Forum Iulii. Aosta, Augst, and Augsburg were all Augusta. Kaiseri, Turkey, Cherchel, Algeria, and Zaragoza, Spain, are variations of Caesarea. Lejeune, Israel, Leon, Spain, and Kerleon, Wales, derive their names from Legio, Legion. The French towns Aix and Dax are descendants of the Latin aquae, springs. The same word, literally translated, is behind Baden-Baden, Germany, and Bath, England. Cosantina, Algeria, and Constantia, Romania, are both named after Constantine, while Constans, Germany, and Coutans, France, are named for his father Constantius. There are regional patterns in the preservation and transformation of names. In Britain, where the fall of the Roman Empire brought about the complete collapse of the local economy, almost every Roman city was abandoned during the 5th century AD. Although many sites were soon reoccupied, they received new names from their Anglo-Saxon settlers. Sometimes these names had Roman origins. Lindum Colonia, for example, came to be known as Lindocolina, which became Lincoln, and finally Lincoln. Eberacum became Jorforwick, which was eventually shortened by the Danish Jorvik to York. Londinium, the provincial capital, was reborn as the Anglo-Saxon settlement of Londonwick, later rebuilt as Londonburg, and finally shortened to London. Since Roman cities were often surrounded by walls, the Anglo-Saxons called them castles, using a word, kester, derived from the Latin castrum, camp. Thus, the Roman town of Venta Belgarum was renamed Venta Castle, that is, Wintercaster, modern Winchester. Roman Manuccio became Anglo-Saxon Mamacaster, now Manchester. Glewum became Glowichester, then Gloucester. The legionary fort of Deva was simply called the castle, Chester. In what are now southern and western Germany, the replacement of Latin by Germanic dialects was reflected in the shifting names of former Roman cities. Maguntiacum became Maguntia, Meginza, and finally Mainz. Castra Regina, built near the Celtic settlement of Radaspona, came to be known as Radaspona, which gradually became Regensburg. Augusta Treverorum was abbreviated to Treveris, and finally Trier. Colonia Agrippina came to be known simply as Colonia, which evolved into Cone. To the west, in modern France, the population continued to speak Latin. The French names for Germany's Roman cities are correspondingly closer to the Latin originals. In French, Cone is Cologne, Trier is Treve, Regensburg is Radisbon, and Mainz is Mayence. The modern names of many French cities are direct descendants of their ancient predecessors, especially in the south, where the collapse of the Roman Empire was relatively gentle. Aralata became Aral, Nemausus became Nîmes, Lugdunum became Lyon, and Bertigala became Bordeaux. Although the classical name of Paris was Lutetia, 
the city was already known by the name of the local tribe, the Parisii, by late antiquity. The names of Spain's major Roman cities are still recognizable. Cordoba has become Cordoba. Gades is Cadiz. Valentia is Valencia. Emerida Augusta is Merida. And Hispalis, via the Arabic Isbilia, is Sevilla, Seville. The names of Italy's Roman cities have changed even less. In the north, Mediolanum is Milano, Brixia is Brescia, and Verona is still Verona. In Tuscany, Florentina has become Firenze, Florence, Siena has become Siena, and Pisae has become Pisa. South of Rome, Beneventum is Benevento, Tarentum is Toronto, Sorrentum is Sorrento, and Brindisium is Brindisi. We'll continue our toponymic tour of the Roman Empire after a brief word about this video's sponsor. I'm often frustrated by how online news outlets cover archaeological discoveries. That's why I like Ground News, a website and app that provides readers with a data-driven way to keep up with current events. Here, for example, is a story on a mosaic found in a Roman house near the Colosseum. As you can see, 65 news outlets have reported on the topic. 22% of these outlets lean left, 16% lean right, and the rest, 62%, are in the center. You can also see who owns these news outlets. Here, 56% are owned by conglomerates. Ground News makes it easy to compare headlines. And you can use the Bias Insights feature to see how political lean drives differences in reporting. In this case, left-leaning outlets tended to emphasize the cultural influence of migrants, while those on the right focused on DNA analysis. Another helpful feature is the blind spot feed, which shows stories underreported by one side of the political spectrum or the other. Right now, Ground News is offering 40% off their unlimited access Vantage plan. Head to ground.news slash Toldenstone or click the link in the description to get started for just $5 a month. Returning to our topic. East of the Adriatic, where Slavic languages replaced Latin in the early Middle Ages, relatively few modern cities preserve their ancient names. Many of these are along the Croatian coast, such as Pula, Roman Pola, Sadar, Roman Yadr, and Split, Roman Spilatum. But there are scattered survivals inland. Nisus became Nish, Serbia. Skupi became Skopje, North Macedonia. Philippopolis became Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Farther south, in Greece, Greek has been the predominant language for three millennia, and the names of the major cities have changed little, despite shifts in pronunciation. For example, the classical name of Athens, Athenae, became Athena in the Byzantine period, and has remained so since. In modern Turkey, across the Aegean, the names of some ancient cities are still recognizable. Bursa is Prusa, Smyrna is Izmir, Adelaia is Antalya, Iconium is Konya, and Ankyra is Ankara. Other names are less obvious. Nicomedia, for example, became Iznikmid in Turkish, later shortened to the modern Izmit. Germanicopolis became Ermanek. Claudiopolis was shortened to Bolu. Istanbul seems to be a Turkish rendering of the Greek phrase, Ace Ten Polen, into the city. Across North Africa and the Levant, where Arabic is the dominant language, the names of former Roman cities are often difficult to spot. Hymns, for example, is the Arabic form of ancient Emesa. Ancient Beritus is modern Beirut. Damascus is Damashk in Arabic though the conventional English name is the same as the Roman one. On the other side of the Mediterranean, in what is now Morocco, the Roman city of Tingis became the Arabic Tanja. The English name, derived via French, is Tangier. In modern Algeria, the Hippo of Hippo Regius became Ubo and finally Bon. Some Roman cities are still known by nicknames they acquired during the Middle Ages. In England, for example, the Roman town of Verulamium came to be called St. Albans after the Roman martyr buried there. 
Colonia Alpia Traiana, on the German frontier, was renamed Trichensimai, Thirtyville, after the local legion in late antiquity. When a church dedicated to a martyred Roman soldier was built nearby, the local settlement was called Ad Sanctos, by the saints, which gradually metamorphosed into Zantan. In Turkey, the city of Aphrodisius came to be known as Caria, the name of the province it governed. Caria was corrupted into Gare, the modern name of the local village. The names of some Roman cities were reclassicized in the modern era. Agrigentum in Sicily, for example, was known as Gurgenti from the Middle Ages until 1927, when Mussolini ordered it changed to the ancient-sounding Agrigento. In 1974, the Romanian city of Cluj, built over the ruins of Roman Napoca, was formally renamed Cluj-Napoca to emphasize its ancient heritage. Over the course of the 19th and early 20th centuries, successive Greek governments gave classical names to hundreds of settlements. The city of Edessa, for example, reverted to its ancient name after a millennium as Vodina, and the village of Castri was renamed after the neighboring site of Delphi. Some ancient-sounding cities are later foundations. To take two English examples, Chu Magna only gained its Magna in the early modern period, and the Regis, in Bogner Regis, wasn't tacked on until 1929. Under Catherine the Great, the Russian Empire planted dozens of cities with classical names on the shores of the Black Sea, including Sevastopol, from Sevastopolis, city of Augustus, and Odessa, named after the nearby Greco-Roman city of Odessus. Perhaps the most evocative modern names are those assigned to the ruins of Roman cities that were never reoccupied. For centuries, Alexandria Troas, in Turkey, was called Eski Istanbul, Old Istanbul. The villa of the Quintilii on the Via Appia came to be known as Roma Vecchia, Old Rome. Other ruins were associated with legendary kings. The Turkish village beside Miletus was named Balat, from Palatium, Pelis. The settlement that grew up around the colossal Villa Romana del Casale in Sicily was also called Palatium, the basis of Piazza Armarina, the modern name of the neighboring town. And the hilltop city of Justiniana Prima, now in Serbia, came to be known as Saracen Grad, the city of the queen. But in hundreds of other cities, despite all the changes in language and landscape that a millennium and a half can bring, Roman names have endured, if only in disguise. My new book, Insane Emperors, Sunken Cities, and Earthquake Machines, is now available as a paperback, ebook, and audiobook. You can buy your copy through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or your local bookstore. For more Told and Stone content, check out my channels, Told and Stone Footnotes, and Scenic Routes to the Past, which are linked in the description. Please consider joining other viewers in supporting Told and Stone on Patreon. Thanks for watching.